numerous papers pass across our desks every day. Sometimes they accumulate and stop us from working. That's when a quick clean-out is urgently needed, otherwise we lose track. But before throwing it out, you have to sort through and check what is important and must be kept, what is redundant and can confidently be thrown into the garbage. Just as this happens with a desk, so too in the tiny organelles of the human cell that are the focus of Thomas Sommer's research. The so-called endoplasmic reticulum is traversed by many proteins that help with maturation. There is also similar quality control in the organelle. Incorrect or defective mature proteins are broken down because their accumulation can lead to conditions such as neurodegeneration. We are investigating secretory and membrane proteins who fulfill important functions in cellular communications and in metabolism. These proteins have to adapt a correct three-dimensional structure to fulfill their function. However, in some cases they are not able to adapt this three-dimensional structure. Then they aggregate inside the cell and this is toxic for cells. We have identified components that detect these kind of proteins and subject them to protein degradation. This mechanism is called ARAD and in a simple organism such as yeast, as well as in humans, is almost identical. In the living cells of Baker's yeast, scientists can measure the degradation of proteins in the endoplasmic reticulum. In vitro cellular processes are simulated and measured biophysically. Thomas Summer meets his team regularly to discuss the latest results and talk about future goals. This is how they are reviewing the principles of yeast development in multicellular organisms to find out how the ERAD pathway has evolved in higher organisms. We um, found that protein quality control is a process that integrates a number of different processes. On the one side, the proteolytic system. On the other side, proteins that help proteins to adopt their correct conformation and a system that modifies proteins with glycans. We want to understand how these three systems work together to make efficient protein quality control.